What's poppin' Connor High? Today is September 9, 2019. I'm Anthony. And I'm Jenny. And today we'll be talking about recent news on how someone died from vaping and Monster Truck Show set to hit Conroe. So stay tuned for today's episode of Total Recap. In a statement released by the CDC, it was stated that there is now a rise of people who have died from vaping e-cigarettes. The amount of people left dead from vaping is now at 5 due to lung disease caused by vaping so much. The CDC urges anyone who is vaping to stop as soon as possible to save their lungs from growing an illness. If you or anyone you know is vaping, please urge them to stop to save their lungs. The first monster truck, jeep, truck, and car show comes to Conroe's Lone Star Expo Center on September 13 and 14. The general admission is $20 for adults and $15 for kids under 15, 12, and parking spots for $5. The Monster Truck Show will provide free entrance for Willis Elementary School students as a part of an anti-bullying campaign. The show opens with a 20-minute show talking about bullying and the dangers of cyberbullying. We will now take it to a quick commercial break and now saw a Skype update. Hey Gabe, I like whiteboards. Why is that? Because they're remarkable. <laughs> Please get out. Now. Alright. Hey Gabe, have you heard the rumor about butter? Uh, no, why? <laughs> you know what? Never mind. I shouldn't be spreading it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Gabe, why did the old man fall to the well? Why? <laughs> because he couldn't see that well. <laughs> <laughs> good one, I like it. It's good to laugh every once in a while. Be the reason someone smiles today. You can achieve a lot using your imagination. I mean, I don't like to brag, but... Wait, who's that? And why is she all over these achievement awards? But with STEM, the sky's the limit. Shaboom! Use STEM to envision. Okay, I'm seeing it. Yeah. Invent. Got any ideas? I've got a few, actually. And create a better world. Told you she's super smart. If she can STEM, so can you. Find out more at She Can STEM. What's up for September? Following the crescent moon, the September equinox, and wait, where did Mars go? We're in a several month period right now when the new moon falls right around the end of each month. This means we get to enjoy lovely waning crescent moons at dusk for the first few days of each month and delightful waxing crescents in the pre-dawn sky near the end of each month. This month, look low in the west about half an hour after sunset to enjoy the crescent moon on September 1st through the 4th, with the moon appearing a bit higher in the sky each night. By the 5th, the first quarter, that is half full moon, winds up here just a couple of degrees to the right of Jupiter. At the end of the month, from September 23rd to the 27th, look east half an hour before dawn for an increasingly slimmer crescent that appears lower in the sky each day. As you make your lunar observations, remember that for many thousands of years, the cycles of the moon and sun were the basis of human timekeeping, and many traditional cultures still rely on these cycles to mark special events. A few months ago, it seemed like the red planet, Mars, was a constant companion in the evening sky. But as our two planets moved along in their orbits this summer, Mars has drifted further into the glare of the sun, finally disappearing from our skies altogether in July. Did you notice? In late August and early September this year, Mars is more or less behind the Sun as seen from Earth. This has implications for spacecraft at Mars like NASA's InSight Lander and Curiosity rover. This event, called Solar Conjunction, happens about every two years. During this time, mission controllers on Earth stop sending commands to our spacecraft in order to avoid potential radio interference from the Sun. A few weeks later, when Mars has moved farther apart from the Sun as seen from Earth, normal communications can resume. For those of us eager for a peek at Mars with our own eyes once again, it'll return to our pre-dawn skies in early November. 
September 23rd marks the equinox, with day and night being of equal length. This marks the beginning of fall in the Northern Hemisphere. And although this means it's time to bid farewell to those long summer days, the upshot for stargazers is longer nights, meaning more time to look up. Here are the phases of the moon for September. You can catch up on all of NASA's current and future missions at nasa.gov. I'm Preston Dykes from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and that's what's up for this month. What's going on, my good people? I'm Josh, your weather anchor for today, and let's jump right into it. As you can see, the high for today will be 93 degrees and the low will be 70 degrees, with a 30% chance of rain. Also, tomorrow's high will be 92 and the low will be 76, being partly cloudy. And for the weekend, it will be amazing for people who want to get out for a run, being mostly sunny. Now for the fact of the day, Lancaster, Pennsylvania was the U.S. capital for the shortest period of time. One day, September 27, 1777. Now we'll take it to a suicide awareness video. Are you okay? We wanted to finish out our newscast today with a few announcements. There will be a National Honor Society meeting today at 5.30 in the LGI. The high school Democrats will be holding their first meeting of the year this week on Thursday, right after school in room 301 in the Annex. There will be refreshments and all are welcome. This is FFA Chapter Week. Dress up. Monday, America Day, you'll wear red, blue, and white. Tuesday, truck, truck Tuesday for Chevy, wear blue for Dodge. Wear red and wear black for and other trucks wear yellow. Wednesday is West, Western Day. Thursday is Animal Day. Friday is FFA colors or FFA shirts. And now it's Twitter poll time. Last week we asked you who you think is funniest out of Kevin Hart, Steve Carell, Jonah Hill, or Chris Rock. The results are in. Kevin Hart won with 72% of the vote, thanks to those who voted. On today's Twitter poll, we will want to to know which of you, which do you prefer, Chick-fil-A sauce or King sauce. Make sure to go to IKTAJ News and let your voice be heard. Well, those are all the announcements for, for today. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to follow us at KTAG News on all social media and our YouTube channel. As always, CHS, start strong, finish strong. Make sure to tune in tomorrow for more KTAG News.